Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We don't really have all that time for amenities because it's already game time here with the Ultra. Anyway, we're here to offer you the first of another explosive doubleheader. The Pure Foods Hot Dogs taking on the Alaska Milkmen. But what may well steal the thunder from that uh, main event is an equally explosive matchup now unfolding before your eyes between Añejo Rum and Great Taste. I'm Joe Cantana, and the working this coverage with me tonight is Dr. Andrew J. Thank you very much, Joe. Yeah. Unbeaten in three outings, and Emerson Miguel has a 1-1 record, and here's Rudy the Street right down the middle. Setting the tone of things, they've got the blue with a white and yellow trim scheme. Alan Kaidik found himself in a big fix. Ocampo and Bartolome wearing numbers 29, 30, and 32 respectively. Alan Kaidik, the left-handed gun, it misfires. He had to try off a hook shot there, and he was not prepared to take it at that point. Very tight pass by Latosa to Leo Isaac, who was fouled going up to the basket by Pido Arenjo. I think, Joe, is that during the All Filipino, usually in the first game, we only have about two, two, three thousand people to start off the game. All time, huh? That's right. <laughs> well, he's second right now, I think, to Fernandez, no? But, uh, but Ato he was first. Yes, Ato he was always a scorer. <laughs> And Rudy the street of Romulo Mamaril each time he gets hold of the basketball. Well, Mamaril answered the first two points of Ateco on the other end. There is two, but he's very, very steady for the team. He's already contributed six points. Plus and productive thrust by Añejo. Yes, plus a couple of defensive rebounds. Hey, look at this. Broadless dragging Loisaka down to the floor with him. And there is a conversion on the opposite side of the floor. The shot counts. Sonic Capato picks himself up from the floor and then sort of uh, fizzle out a little bit in the, out end. in the end game. You can, uh, if you remember the game against uh, Alaska, Añejo went off to a 12 to nothing plus in the first quarter before uh, fizzling out. There was this for the uh, great taste team. No? That's right. Here comes Phillips. There is foul going to the hoop by Mamaril. And he 326 in the balance for the first quarter. Oh. Leo Isaac gives up another blocking foul against Philip. So because they are in the penalty, oh, the absence is going to tell against them. Huh? You bet. But so far they've been doing very well. Bernie Fabiosa beats Dondon and Palayo in the battle for the loose ball. Here comes Apeco in open court. 25 foot shot. Oh. In the other end, he also has pretty good defense against anybody. <laughs> anybody? As a matter of fact, he has proven that. He is now the undisputed Sultan of Swipe. Cross score to Harmon. Oh, that was a tight baseline drive by Harmon. Good defense played by the Blue Shirts. Philip will probably be called for the foul, or I let's see who. There was a collision between Fabiosa and Joey Loisaga. There's Mr. Ocampo clarifying matters there with the table officials as we review that last piece of action in slow-mo. There you can see in the bottom screen, oh, Fabiosa giving that uh, fist to uh, Joey Loisaga and then spinning around as if he got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> on Fabiosa. Warning on Fabiosa. He is warned to remember that he is not Mike Tyson. <laughs> I don't think a similar recurrence has occurred in the Open Conference because as early as the start of the 1988 season, they had already implemented or rather uh, promulgated that new rule. 36-26. An ambidextrous fighter, a converted sample like Marvin Hagler. <laughs> but he shoots with his right hand, you know. That's right. Here comes Joey Loisaka. Oh, down on the floor again. And this time, he's wincing in pain. While well, he tried to challenge the gauntlet paused on his path there by Philip Cesar. Well, Philip is not exactly the kind of guy to give out a chip shot, so I suppose that had to happen somehow. Well, he backed off with his butt on Joey Lezaga. You can see Philip was the first person to try to give a hand. Get away with an act like that. 38-30 is the count, eight-point lead for Añejo. Here comes Jaworski. A failure by the Big J. Atoiko boxes everybody out. Point lead for Anyo. Well, that bailed them out of the woods temporarily. I said temporarily. Because Alan Kaidik promptly did something about it. And now they are overburdened with too many players in that squad. A three-point shot by Joey Loisaga offline. And Sonny comes up with the offensive rebound and the follow-up shot. You can expect a scorer like Arnie Tuandes to pump in the points here soon. Dante Gonzalgo with a pump fake and a failure. 
Philip Cesar pulls it down. Fast break in the works for the Blue Shears. Montes carries it all the way to Beaconland. Can't stop the scorer. Pagosa almost with a steal. The Philip Cesar act didn't work. And we've got a pair of arms and legs in perfect entanglement there with a foul going against Dondon and Palayo. Cesar. As you can see, Coach Baby Dalupan does pace his men very well. Sunny Jaworski on a fast break clip going against Cristobal and losing the ball upstairs. It's going to go over to great pace. The break certainly are for looking to regain the lead. If they can hit pay dirt, they will have it right back. No pay dirt. Double foul. Double foul instead. I think between Joey Loisaga, I don't know if it's Cristobal or Twadless on the other end. And this affair is getting to be very physical at this point. The referees are climbing up the walls, trying to keep it under rain. Foul. Jaworski inbound. Joey, confronted by Mike Cristobal. Nani Gonzalo gets a pick from Tondo Nampalayo. The shot is up. Great. Only four minutes and 20 seconds left here in the uh, second quarter. A good second quarter, actually. Yes, sir. From here on in, it's not going to be a picnic for either ball club. Great taste. Bungling the opportunity. A fast break in the works. Dondo Nampalayo is fouled in midair by Arnie for the first half. Tito Luisaga, top of the key against Alan Kaideko. Oh, unmolested. Dondo Nampalayo comes up with a triple. I have just a two-point lead for Anyejo. And Sonic Abadu looking for the equalizer. Thwarted in this design by Dondo Nampalayo. And here comes Joe Loizaga. Dondo Nampalayo had a good, clean, black three-point shot by Sonny Jaworski. And it gets them back on track. Advice attempt. You're right, Joe, because uh, they had a 5-on-4 situation there. They should have done it slowly. And a good play. Chito is down on the floor. What was that that uh, Sips Armit uh, said uh, in the last coverage? The, hard, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Huh? That's a good assist pass here. Cristobal stepping in, giving a nudge to Chito Luisaga, who goes trooping down. the pala sa ganyang klaseng sini, partner. Ay, nako. I'm a fan of Tagalog movies. Chito Luisaga, he misses. A good drop to Mamarel. Some unproductive thrust by Añejo Ram. And Great Taste is going for the lead. Look at Romulo Mamaril ramming the ball right the, down the throat of Dennis Abatuan. A quality basketball game is absolutely right and it still holds true up to this point. There's a pushing foul called against Kabato. Joe, deem it proper if they thought it was right, could have called a deliberate a foul. A deliberate though. foul, yes. That would have been two free throws. There's going to be a pushing foul from behind against uh, Kabato, I think. Ram have been their most lethal weapon if they don't work. And they seem to be doomed to perdition. Anyway, here comes Dondon Palayo with a follow-up. And it just won't fall. It's a loose ball foul called against Cabato, who's been pushing everybody underneath. But you see, it's a great taste. Here's Dondon Palayo. He finally got something at point blank range. Plus three misses from the 15-foot uh, line, where he used to be such a great shooter from that area. Oh, that was a good play by Sunny. Offensive rebound by Joey Loisaga. Too wide off the glass. Scramble for the letter, won by Alan Kaidik. Here's Bernie Fabiosa galloping down court against Chito Loisaga. <laughs> off a screen. This match does Club, I think with 1,000 offensive rebounds. More than 1,000. Down by only 7 points, they're getting their act together again. Jaworski from top of the key, bullseye. Well, it's a 5 point. Oh, Philip went up without the ball. Thanks to the quick hands of Chito Leizaga. The Golden Scavenger. Live. Here's Nani Gonzalo getting a wide, wide screen from Chito Leizaga. Joey connects. In penalty, Joey, it's going to be a very close match, I feel. Uh, this is going to be another dead hit or a photo finish, and Joey Leizaga keeps on going. He goes to brother Chito. And Joey packs against Sunny Jaworski, both of them down on the floor. <laughs> The momentum couldn't really, he couldn't control in that play, no? Arnie Twadless. Foul, Chito. Have been coming from fast breaks and outside shots, and he couldn't really post up well against Chito. Three-point shot by Joey. Oh. Joey from the three-point region. 
Joey almost had it. He's really hot under there. Hook shot by Joey, and he gets the lead. Yeah, against Sato. Eh? Sonny Cabana hits the deck. Mamaril gave him his spot, and it was a very sharp putt. Joe Westy, vintage J at work. Nice. Well, a pat and the jackknife, Jaworski jackknife. That would have been a spectacular save by Jaworski, with not for the intervention of Bernie Fabiosa, but he's losing it to Jaworski again. And Don Ampalayo, 2-1-1. Jaworski had to dive to save good players in this ballgame. Ampalayo also 19 points in the ballgame right now. 98-95 are the exact figures with 10-15 in the balance for the ball game. Atoiko reeled back about a mile with a foul being slapped against Jaworski. Oh, that's demon. exactly what he's doing against Atoiko. Bernie Fabiosa with a Houdini act. Terrible troika of Philip Cesar, Atoiko and Bernie Fabiosa. Dondon and Palayo against Philip. Here's Dante Gonzalgo. And look at Sandy Cabatu. Wow. He wants to get into the act too. Tonight for this special occasion against the Añejos. And now he just got into the business end of Mamaril's elbow. A fact unseen by the refs. Joe is really going hard. Offerings, but weekend or weekday shockers. <laughs> In thrillers too, huh, partner? Right. Possible for Romulo Mamaril. Tenacity keeping the ball in the territory of Añejo Ram. Dante Gonzalgo goes to Jaworski. That was a bad fall. Cabato got into the picture. That was a bad fall. Gonzalgo suffered the fall. And let's take a look at that again in slow-mo. Still a two-point lead for Añejo. Loizaga against Ko. Oh, he threaded the needle, but didn't find the hook. Here's Sonny Cabato. <laughs> You know, it's been a very physical confrontation here between Capato and Romulo Mamaril. And some... 520 to go. I don't know if we are going to have any emotion left for the second game after this extremely draining experience. Another out the opposite side, Kai Dick from the three-point region. Way offline, way offline. Jaworski banging bodies with Sonny Capato. It was King Kong. And that's his fifth personal foul too. You know, I was wondering where Philip Cesar was going. Actually, he was going to retrieve Cabato. Sonny Cabato from the trash can where he <laughs> fell. <laughs> I thought Philip was going to confront somebody there at the ringside section, possibly heckling him. <laughs> Turned out that Sonny Cabato was still there lingering in the garbage can. <laughs> and there is Sonny Cabato. Woods and San Miguel. You know what is particularly astounding about the performance of great taste tonight is the fact that they have not only put on a lot more teeth to their offensive sock but also to their defense. Yes. Jaworski goes to Gonzalgo, momentarily open. He goes up against Philip. Off the glass. We're into the twilight zone. This is where they're playing bottom line basketball. Great taste now can really protect a six point lead. Well, they still have to clear the 10-second line. Oh, that's going to be an interception there. Here's Joey Loizaga going strong for the hoop. Defended well by Arnie Twadless. Oh. Don't let him fail, but he got it on the...